Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is uh, just a minute. Project 2 Panda Street Code Question Type EZ 1484 Group Sold Products by the date. The GitHub link will be provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram community for further updates. Now let's solve together the problem. Let us see here what they said. They have given some activities of some people who have done something. Okay. On which date the sale sell date has been done and what is the product which have been sold. Okay. This is a very simple table. Now let us see what is the thing they are asking. Write a solution to find each date the number of different products sold means the unique number of products sold and their names. Okay. And what they are saying, they want to sort it lexicographically, means alphabetically, they want to sort it. Okay, let us come here. Let us see here, 2000 something, these are the unique dates. So we can see that on this March 30, there are three rows. Three unique value rows, okay. So we can see this one and let us see this three. 2, 1. You can see June 1st, 2 rows. June 2nd, 1 row. Clear. Let us come to this, this one. Okay. What is this? It is also called as grouping textual things. So, if you come from SQL background or from this pandas itself, you know that when we do usually grouping, we do only aggregate for numerical columns. We do either some count and unique, some minimum, maximum, etc. etc. But what they want to group here, they want to group textual things. So, what they're doing, group by this cell date and get the unique values of each product. You can see. Okay, so let us come here. Let me do it for you. Return activities dot group by cell date and we can apply some aggregate. First, let me apply on the product column. The yen unique similarly let me keep it as the first combination and the second combination is on the product table itself take this as lambda L A M D A lambda Take this as input, the product column as input, and give me the product column unique values. Okay. Okay, we can see here. Okay, let me reset the index. So you can clearly see here what is happening. We are getting the everything which is required and one more mistake. What is the mistake we are doing? Mm. 
okay we can anyway rename the columns if you see they are alphabetically sorted right so let me do one thing let me do sorted x dot unique let me keep one more bracket done i think we have to rename the columns mm. let me see Cell date comma should be called cell date. Sorry, it should be a dictionary. space is there okay still the comma is coming Let me address like a string. Okay, we're getting the values right. Is the product column name not changing? Let us debug it. Is it because of this? Column names is not an issue.
why is I be being added? Okay, it is better. No. That's it. Now finally it is done. So we have grouped by the cell date and got the unique values of product column and also the sorted unique column using this comma things we have successfully done it okay and we have completed all the test cases also now if you want the code output uh, query for this it will be available in this github repository you can check it down in the description below if you are interested in learning analytics data science ml or nlp please fill in this google form below i will be reaching out to you soon if you're preparing for data science interviews, do check out this playlist. It will be greatly helping your interview process. And if you have any other further questions, do ask me in the comment section. Use this hashtag. And until then, keep learning, guys.